Hello, this is Gordon Bates. I'm the photographer at Graphing of Photons. Um, I, I recently discovered Google Backup and Sync, which sounds like a really great way to back up my files without having to remember. It's just automated. It just happens. Um, I'm going to illustrate a problem that I'm having, though. Apparently, a lot of other people are having it, too. So. Everything's going pretty good. Um, I edit a file, right, and I click done, and it's going to automatically back it up in my Google Drive. Okay, the way I have my Google Drive set up is um, my hard disk drive has various folders in it. One of them is my working folder, and in my working folder I have a, have a to edit folder. And in my to edit folder is where those girls' basketball pictures are located. So I edited this file, and we can see that uh, since I edited this raw file, it updated the XMP file, which is which can be shown is showing right here. So let's open this file up in Photoshop and make some changes to it, and we're going to see it start to get backed up to Google Backup and Sync, which is like awesome because um, I just I could make a change. There you go. I'm done. I want to save. Okay, crop. Fine. I'm going to save as a Photoshop document, and it's being saved in that girl's basketball folder. So it's in the process of saving, and you can also see that Google Backup and Sync picked, picked that up. It triggered it to start uploading that Photoshop document. So that's cool, because as soon as I hit save, well, I guess as fast as, as, fast as I can upload to my Google Drive, all the changes that I made, all the updates, or the edits, uh, they all exist in more than one place, and that's a really good thing with backups. That's the point. But I'm not really done editing this this file. I just like to save periodically between steps, like pretty frequently. So that way, you know, if I have a power outage or something, I don't lose I don't lose my work. So I made some more changes. I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes, right? So that way. I, I didn't lose my work that what what okay so what about I just I was a dummy and I didn't save my work and I've just now been working for 35 minutes doing a pen tool cutout for 35 minutes of my life 35 minutes of my life can't save it. Oh well. So maybe. All right. I'll just. I'll just uh, sacrifice those changes without saving. No big deal. No big deal. That's cool. I can. I can get over it. Just get over it. Go out with somebody else. I can. I'll just reopen the Photoshop document that I. Would. What about? Okay. So I didn't save changes for my pen tool, but now the the levels layer. The all that. See, I could have just now lost hours. Of, it's not even synchronizing anymore, and it's having a problem. So what? What are they telling me to do? They're telling me to. They're telling me to. You know, no, that's the wrong one. You don't know me. So they're telling me because it's locked. I uh, can go to the property. So now, okay, let's let's find this thing. Let's find this thing in the Explorer. Here it is. It's 82 megabytes. I thought it was zero megabytes. Well, that's weird. So in the properties, allegedly, I can unlock it. This is a lot of extra work. I don't know why I'm doing this. Is it locked? It doesn't look locked to me. Is it locked? Um, hmm. So that's kind of that's kind of messed up. Um. Is that file even in here anymore? Who knows? With the Wagnus thing. You see, it's not even there. Where is the, the alleged file? Where is it? It's gone. So the workaround is that I've found is um, 
to go in here and go to my preferences, make sure, so I guess what I'm about to show you kind of defeats the entire purpose of having backup and sync at all, because the workaround is, first of all, make sure that this is not checked so that backup and sync doesn't start on system startup, okay? And then, second of all, um, second of all, second of all, okay, so that means when you start up your computer, this backup and sync logo is not even going to be here. Backup and sync is not even going to be going. So that means when you know, when you start up your computer, backup and sync doesn't even show here. Backup and sync is not even running. So let's see. Um, if I start editing, start editing that, and let's see if with backup and sync not turned on, if I can save changes to this this mug. All right, let's go. Control Shift S. That didn't go. Okay. Save Photoshop document and and is it good? Is it good? Did it do it? Let's go. Make changes. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can see down here that it did it. It'll save them now. So you gotta See how backup and sync isn't here? You gotta make sure backup and sync is not on, which defeats the purpose of having backup and sync. And you're able to go back and you can make changes, you can save. And then I guess at the end of your editing session, you're gonna have to just open backup and sync and let it do its thing. That's that's my only solution really. And I'm not sure this video had to be set, uh, eight minutes long. By the time I'm done, it's going to be eight minutes. Uh, I'm not sure it really had to be eight minutes long. Oh, look, also, when you start a backup and sync, don't forget, before you go to bed, to let your backups happen overnight, to resume the sync. You can find on forums, people are talking about this. Um, I think a good solution, a good solution that somebody has recommended is to do scheduled backups at a certain time every day, but then if your computer's turned off, it's not going to do the scheduled backup if your computer's turned off. So it really seems like there's some creative and technical problem solving to be done. And I don't work there, so of course I can easily criticize the Google engineers, but um, those ladies and gentlemen are geniuses, and I can't really tell them how to do their job, because I don't do their job. Anyways, that's my workaround, that's the problem, so hopefully this can get resolved with some clever design and some trickery. Thank you, and have a good day.